Hello everybody, it's me Florence. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers for those who are just tuning in. This is my Kipling case and if you're wondering where to purchase it, you can purchase these online but I purchased this from the Livermore outlet. I have two but this is the one I'm currently using and let me show you what the bag looks like. So Kipling, and if I'm going to get this question too, how much was it? So originally it was $44. Can you see that? Okay. Originally $44, 50% off. And then you take an additional 20 off of the 22, which I saved like four bucks. And then with tax and everything, it came up to $19, which I think is pretty darn good because these retail for almost $50, $44. So, anywho, another special thing about it, these have monkeys. I don't know how I feel about it. I just leave it because it comes with it. Let me know your thoughts about this monkey. And they have names. So, this boy's name is Lance. And I believe this is the color of it. Uh, it doesn't say. I think it said it on the tag before, but I took it off. But it is in my little faux dory thing, so I'll go check that out in a little bit. So I am not a huge pen collector, as some planner girls are. Honestly, my favorite pen isn't even in here right now because it's in one of my planners. But it's usually housed right here, which is the Sharpie Retractable Pen. That's my ultimate favorite pen to use in my whole collection because I just love how it writes. And so starting from the left, going to the right, I love these Ranger Distressed Tim Holtz dual-sided markers. I use it for Bible journaling. So... This is just a great case to take with me on the go. I don't really need to use any other zip up things unless I'm using cases that house my ephemera pieces and other papers. I have some flare pens that I'm probably going to take out because I don't use them. I have these Sarasa clip pens that write amazing. They're 0.7 and I really like how smooth it writes. So, and they're colored. And then we have some Micron pens. I'm not too big of a fan on the Microns, but they write pretty well. These, I love Sharpie anything, so I'm more of a Sharpie gal. I love these. These are two of my favorite colors to work with, and I have a couple more in here. And then these Pilot Friction highlighters. I just got a pack in the mail for a couple dollars I will if I have links on any of these where you can purchase them I will link it down below I'll try my best to list all the items that I have and yeah so you could find them yourself these are my favorite highlighters to work with they write amazing and so another set of pens which are more like kind of brush tip but they're called fine, extra fine, are the Coco Euro by Zig. They're Kirotake pens, and I have the cool blue, black, gray, sepia, and I think this is like pinkish. So I also have another nice blue and a mint one somewhere in my stash. But this is what is in these loopies and so going in here a lot of people normally just throw their pens in here but like I said I'm not a total pen person and I like to be practical so I won't have to carry a lot of things with me even though I'm normally an overpacker I'm trying to change that 
And so I have my Planner Society goodies. I put the stickers and ephemera pieces all in one place so I could just grab them. Oh, and the stamps are behind the stickers as well. And we have the puffy stickers, a pair of scissors. I cannot find my small little bee ones, but I'm probably going to purchase them again when there's a 50% off sale or something like that. So these are from Office Max. They're super cute. I think they're only two bucks. And then my tape runners. Everyone always wonders where I get these tape runners. These you can purchase at like the 99 cent store or something like that. But I purchased these at Michael's as well as the refill. And then I have a hole puncher. Attached to it is the, pam is the clip. And then I have some washies. So I have the Amy Tangerine Thin Washies, which is this set right here. I bought from Studio L2E, which is Kanani. Hey, Kanani, if you're watching, girl. Oops. And then I got this from Ichiban Khan in San Francisco. Daiso. Staples. This Scotch washi tape. Oopsie. I'm just going to put this over here. Joanne. Michaels, Teresa, my friend, but this is MT Washi, so whoever is MT Washi distributor and this checkered Washi is from Daiso. Yep, Daiso. And then the other pens that are housed in here, I have a couple friction pens that were on sale at Walgreens when they had their sale. It was a 39 cents per pack. I love Ink Joys. These are inexpensive and they write really well. If you're looking for multicolored pens but can't afford the Coletto price, honestly, these work well and they're thicker. And then this Atlantis pen, Ultra Comfort. I just like the grip and how smooth it writes because sometimes having a a smooth black pen is all you need. You don't need something fancy with felt tip, even though I love my Sharpies. I absolutely love them. So these are some of my other favorite colors to work with. I have two of these. I honestly have way too many pens, Sharpie pens. And so I have the Ink Joy Quattro, which is 1.0, and then you have the black, blue, red, and green which I rarely use red and green. And then I have a lime pen, which I don't even know why that's in there, to be honest. So a random Maggie Holmes paper clip. Then this is the one of the inks that I use on the regular, which is the Memento Tuxedo Black. You could purchase it at Michael's, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, those sorts of stores and online retailers. Just in case you were wondering what the SKU is. And then this coffee set, which coffee, National Coffee Day was earlier this week. And I purchased these on a Facebook group. And then I have a couple journal cards, sticky notes, some tags, more stickies, some traveling stickers, more traveling cards, some ephemera pieces in here, doilies, a Coco Daisy note <clears throat> pad, a large paper clip, and then some alphas just in case I needed some alphas and a paper clip that I made so I'm just gonna put that in there and these back in here but that's pretty much what is in my Kipling case if I can find the exact model I will put it in the description box I will also put the location in as well sometimes if you just google Kipling outlets you can check what's around your area I know for sure they have one at Carlsbad they have one in it's not in LA, but it's like on the way to Orange County. I can't, 
I can't even think of the name right now, but then they also have one in Livermore. Obviously, I am a California girl, so those are the only ones that I know of, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, like I said, feel free to comment below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!